What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel and we are back with the MX-5. So as you can see, we are in floating mode. Today we are fitting body kit, which has turned up. So I've, if you didn't catch my previous video, I've got the destroy or die full body kit. So front bumper, rear bumper, side skirts and bonnet um, as they've got the, uh, the vented bonnet. So that's going on. I uh, don't know why I'm still holding that rubbish, but, and we are fitting the carbon Miata carbon fiber extended wheel flares it sounded a lot longer than it normally is but yeah it's something along those lines so anyway yeah so we've got the boys now we've got sam and bar inside and yeah so what we've done so far is almost fully removed the front bumper we've marked off more or less where the arch is going and where we need to cut uh, done that all the way around here and I think we're going to be starting here as you can tell by the grinder so all of that is cut a 30 mil pinstripe and run that along the edge and hopefully that should be it so we'll start cutting i'm going to start bringing down body kit bits as it's upstairs and yeah so i think it's just going to be all systems go and we will get this done so we have had a little minor issue as well so previous video which I still need to finish is where I fit the decal on the exhaust but when I drove it home massive steam come out of here and actually there's still a little bit of residue up there um, I think one of the coolant hoses has decided to leave the chat and it was just spilling out onto the exhaust hence all the steam coming out so probably try and figure that out as well if it is a hose it's not a massive issue as i've got the full engine hose replacement kit but i did notice this morning when i took this off yeah it's really rusty in there and obviously that's not meant to come off in pieces so it's definitely seen better days so i think it just needs a complete overhaul and fix but yeah one thing at a time but let's crack on with this. We we'll have to we'll, we'll guess that last bit. One bumper deleted. Right, are you cutting it or are you not cutting it? Yeah, I've cut it. Do you want some glasses? Okay, glasses and masks. Yeah, I definitely would put a mask on. I know it's not very thick, but it's carbon. That'll shred your lungs. <laughs> Right, you're banned from the grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you say there's something. You're definitely banned. Fucking went fine as well, I don't think. Fucking minute. <laughs> I've never ever had a grind in this studio, Steve, but I've been waiting for the day. That's I've a good thing it happened to me then. I was about to shout at you and I thought you're not going to hear me because the disc was flexing and then it went back. I had one filming to one, shout at you. <laughs> but luckily I was wearing glasses and started doing, doing it into my face. But I've had one pop on me, but I was doing exactly the wrong thing, so it was my fault. <laughs> just, oh, you've yes. got your specs. Oh, God. <laughs> just you need to show them. <laughs> I can't see, but it will be a mess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, disc has done a delete. You're banned from the grinder. No, that's why I'm not allowed to do this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. I literally just finished sending the video to Bill as well. Oh, God. All right. All right. After my incident with the grinder, bars finish this off. 
Charles Leclerc, incident. <laughs> Nothing, just an incident on the race. Bar's now done this all nice. He's just about to start on the other side. We have offered up the front bumper on the car. Sorry for the loud noises. So we need to do a couple of uh, relief cuts here. Uh, as there is the bolt that holds on. Uh, who's been bleeding all over the bumper? Um, yeah, so it's uh, a couple of bolts that hold on the front wing. Um, so where this is so thick, the original front bumper doesn't actually have that. So as you can see here, there, there is like a little gap here. So that just goes straight on. So we're going to release, cut it, and then, uh, yeah, test fit it again. Because that way we, we want to be able to get the bumper onto the car so that we can then actually um, see how much of the front bumper needs cutting as well for the arches. And yeah, so it is all coming along. So Sam's got a little Dremel. Bit by bit. Just see if that's any different. I don't think it will be. Oh, all right. <laughs> Every time. Should I just take the toe eye off? Because then don't have to keep going around it. I mean, it's in the right place, but it needs so much. It's closer, it's not right. Sam's been trimming away at this a bit, so we've cut off the, I say we, Sam's cut off the bits that are sticking out there as that was um, hitting my jack bar, cut off some bits on the, oh well, yeah, it is, what is it, jack bar, chassis bar? Jack. I don't know. Um, yeah, we've had to trim off this bit as well as that was hitting, and now it's just a case of playing about with clearancing in here, around there to try and get it to fit. We still need to try and get this metal bar off off of this one, as we need to remove it. <laughs> yeah, we need to get that off, um, and then front bump can then sort of dangle off of that, and bar is trying to align the bolt holes. Watch. This is the winter full collection in headwear 2024. Keeps everything nice and warm. <laughs> Jewish and dry. <laughs> right. and then round back. I'm currently working on getting this rear bumper off. Um, the tail lights have come out. I think I'm I'm assuming I need to remove this, so removing that because I can. I think there's probably going to be a couple of bolts behind here. I was going to get one of these in carbon, but yeah, it's a bit late now. But yeah, so I started to get all of, get all of these. Um, had various fittings underneath. Just figuring out as we go along, and yeah, remove the aerial because I was going to delete that anyway. So I'll get that welded in and smoothed off. You need to do that before paint as well. But uh, yeah, so just slowly progressing. Nothing major to report as of yet, but obviously this side was cut, but I was done the other side. So just working on figuring out where to draw the holes in the arches so then we can start mocking them up and actually see where, what it's gonna look like. So hopefully, not too far from that. A quick little update on the car. So Sam's still been grinding away. Ah, he's run away because the camera's come out. Um, yeah, so Sam's been grinding away, so we're still faffing around with getting this fitment on here correct. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we have one of the arches on and we're actually quite pleasantly surprised. Like, the fitment's pretty good. When we were first offering it up, it didn't look too fantastic, but it is definitely better than expected and yeah so it is starting to look good so 
I know it's a bit in the shade, so it's not the best angle. So once we've done this side, then obviously it will be a bit easier to see. Hopefully we'll get to a point where that's going to be on the car soon. But yeah, so we've used the, um, the fitting kit that's come with it. So rev nut into the carbon and then obviously these M6 bolts. Rear we've not started cutting yet but I have removed the rear bumper. So I have actually bought um, some chassis mounts for a rear spoiler. Uh, there's a company over in America called Battle Aero. They do chassis mounted spoilers. However, with shipping and all that, it worked out to a fortune for their chassis mounted wing, which I really love the look of. So what I've done is they sell the bits separate, so the chassis mount itself. Um, so I'm, I'm going to remove this, but the bits that bolt onto the car there, they sell those separate, so then I can create my own uprights. And then all I need to do is find a blade that fits the size of the gaps between the chassis mount. So once that's out of the way, I can offer those brackets up, give that a measure. And then I can start trying to find a blade. I'm still undecided on whether to go for the swan neck style or just the standard spoiler. But yeah, it's starting to come together. And yeah, here we go. Here's the old bumpers over here. So we've still not touched this yet. So that is going to be next on the to-do list once we've... Uh, clearance that out completely because we need to figure out exactly how that's going to mount onto here so from what I've heard is it just lips underneath here and you just hold it in there without any hardware but so yeah we're just gonna clearance that out have a proper look but yeah it's slowly starting together it's starting together starting to come together so quick little lunch break now as uh, it's it's a little bit late but yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with, uh, with the progress. We've done, for the first time, like, Screwfix do a delivery thing as well, kind of like Uber Eats, but for Screwfix. So we've ordered up some drill bits that we need, some more sanding parts, and yeah, so that should be here within an hour, it said, well, from placing the order. So hopefully by the time we've eaten, they'll arrive, and then we can start drilling the rest out. Don't know whether we're going to start on the rear arches today or not, but worst case, that's tomorrow's job. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Up front, we've got bar fitting the driver's side rear arch. Got Sam doing some more sketchiness. And then round the back here, so I've taken this bar off. And these are the Valero uprights that I was on about. So they are now, well, they're not on on, but they're just mocked up a place so now I could get the measurement between there and there. So now I can try and uh, source a spoiler blade that's got the correct uh, gap that I need. Um, then obviously I'm going to have to start working on creating the template for the uprights. So it'll probably just be a cardboard job. Um, offer it in there, draw it by hand, and then put it on the computer and all that. So here we go. At least this arch is in the sunshine, so you might actually see something. Look at it in all its dusty, gloss matte glory. To be fair, it looks pretty good. Very nice. Then here, Sam's cut out of the notch, hopefully central. <laughs> to to slide over this little pin here so starting starting to get there well on the front end anyway, anyway. you don't seem convinced <laughs> easy bit actually yeah because it's just chopping that off and then fitting that on rather than cutting the back and welding it yeah long oh well. slowly chipping away
deep. Bar has chopped up the rear quarter. That's the repair one. Zim. To be fair, it's not too crusty, which is quite nice. It's just a little bit here. Down here is where I had the repair done, but there was many crusts <laughs> in that ridge. So that's all cut. And then this inner skin can come up and then tack weld it and seal that off nicely. I've put this bumper support back on and left this chunky bit off because that's going to come off anyway so just in a bit I'm then going to figure out how to, uh, where is it, these are the spoiler shaft mounts so I'm then going to figure out how to retain some of the bumper support and keep, keep that on and then we got Sam over here still working away on the front bumper so we've now got that front bumper bar back on got that to line up the center and he's just fiddling about trying to get those sides to fit as best as possible so get in there, get in there slowly bit by bit i think this side's mostly done um, one. As, as can be seen but yeah a little bit a little bit at a time can't rush perfection. <laughs> Which this car is definitely not perfect. <laughs> it's not about perfection. Perfection, eh? It's a perfect crusty tiger roll, is what it is. Get your hammers out. professional body work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's going up quite nice. Yeah, it's going to be that bit. Yeah. I think we're going to have to go. Yeah, that's where the big hammer comes in. <laughs> yeah, we're just moving a structure of chassis. Minor <laughs> details. <laughs> So we basically at the end of the first day on this, I've taken some of the parts off as we are storing it inside as the car's just gonna stay outside for the day. But this bar has done all four corners, all the cuttings. So obviously the front are cut, rivets in, test fitted the arches and they all fit nice. Um, front bumper we've got probably about 95% of the way there. Just need to do some final little touches and put the bolts in and then that's done. Uh, we've drilled out all the bolt holes, but again, just need to reconfirm everything, make sure we're happy with it, and then see if we need to trim off any of the bumper for the arches. Then on the back, we see bars cut off the top skin and then whacked it all in with a hammer, put a couple of slits in and it's got it all real nice and tight, looks good. And tomorrow we're going to be, I say we, Bar and Bill are going to be welding it. Probably not going to be trusted near that either. <laughs> but yeah, so then that's going to be all done, welded together, and then a bit of a seam sealer over it, as that's the only critical part because obviously the fronts are just carbon, so they can remain as they are. So again, they're all cut out, lovely arch gap. And yeah, this is the last one I just finished up. So overall solid effort by, I say everyone, I feel like I've done nothing, but I've done little bits and pieces, but yeah, it's starting to come together. Bar is the MVP. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna stick that wheel on, put the car back on the floor, then uh, we can see what the arch gaps look like when the car's actually down. So there we have it. It's back down on the ground. We've got some hilarious arch gap going on. But again, it's all for a good cause. So I know the front, we're probably gonna be running some arch gap anyway, because the extended arches, uh, when we offered them up, like you could see that much of the um, the front wing underneath. So the, the arches themselves do sit higher up, so. We'll be having a bit of an arch gap at the front, but again, it's not too bad because I'm not going for like a stancy scene boy kind of vibe with the car. It's going to be hopefully 
a uh, both show car but drift car as well so I just want to build it as nicely as I can and uh, yeah I think that is it for day one so I'm probably going to call it a video there um, I'd like to think we've done some pretty good progress and uh, yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you have make sure to leave a like down below and uh, let me know what you think of it how how you think we're doing granted we are definitely not professionals even though it says on the instructions uh, we recommend professional fitting we are far from that but hey we enjoy doing this kind of stuff and it's all like a learning curve as we go along so yeah let us know if uh, i mean if you've got any tips or or anything on how to do it better or maybe what we should be doing different as it's always good to know so yeah and make sure to subscribe as you're not going to want to miss part two where this actually all comes together and we are getting pretty close now to uh to when this goes off to paint and um, when it comes back from paint it's it's going to be unreal it's going to be hopefully well hopefully i hope there's not another <laughs> mx5 uh as i've been planning to do with this i can't imagine there is but again mx5s have been around for so long like mine's 30 years old i think they started in 89 so that's what quick maths 35 years um most things have pretty much been done on it but i'm hoping the destroyer die body kit with these arches that's a little bit of an issue that we've found when we've been offering up some bits but we're going to figure that out but again like i don't know if that's been done before possibly who knows but the color is definitely going to be what sets it off so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed and i will catch you in the next video cheers